I have struggled so much to make this video. I spent all morning trying to record something that's clear, that does it justice, but I just couldn't. So I gave up and I, I went downstairs to make myself lunch. And in the middle of lunch, I, I pull up YouTube and sure enough, there it is again, Technoblade. It's been a year since Technoblade died, and I, I made one community post about it. I felt awkward. I wanted to make more, but there seemed to be so much controversy around making stuff about Technoblade. Like, you're only talking about Technoblade for the clout or for the views, and so I stayed away from it. On top of that, I didn't have a relationship with Techno, so it feels weird even having these feelings. But the extent to which Technoblade made me change the way I make videos, and even the way I live life, is just so much bigger and I, I just wanna make a tribute. Two years ago, I watched my first Technoblade video. I was starting to get some sort of following online and I'm not sure if it, this was the first video of his that I watched, but it was his Potato War series. And it was the best series I had ever seen. At this point with YouTube, it felt like YouTube videos should be a certain way. You should speak with enthusiasm. You should have these crazy ideas. But Techno's video had none of that. It was him farming potatoes in Minecraft for months. And it was my favorite. I cannot tell you how many times I have rewatched that intro, trying to figure out what made it so good. But it wasn't even just that video that I got hooked on. I started watching all of his Skywars commentaries, and they weren't necessarily like the Potato War, but they were talking about his life while playing Minecraft. It was so different and refreshing, and I love them. Over the next year, I really analyzed and tried to understand why these did so well, but it wasn't that that I appreciated about Technoblade so much. It wasn't his jokes or his storytelling. Don't get me wrong, those are great. But the thing I most appreciated about Techno was the way he treated other people on camera in videos. At the core of it, he's what I would say is a good person. Making jokes to lighten the mood, not making jokes at people's expense, having a positive attitude, giving back. And so a year go by of me watching these videos, I end up in this massive recording with a whole bunch of YouTubers. We're three hours deep into the recording session and I start to see players log off. I didn't recognize or understand why it was happening, but before I knew it, it was just me and my three other teammates left on the server. We were about to finish too, but a close friend of mine joins the call and I don't know exactly what he said, but he broke the news. Technoblade had died. Yo, yo, y'all haven't heard? No, no what? what? Uh, Did you get banned? Wreck, wreck, no, wreck, check general lifesteal. Wait. What? Wait, Techno's no. channel? Oh my gosh. Techno's gone. The silence that followed that statement I think really shows the respect that Technoblade carried in the Minecraft community. None of us know what to do. I think I was in shock, but we ended the recording session right then and there, and I logged off alone in my room and watched Technoblade's last video. It was his dad breaking the news that his son had died. Not even a minute in, and I started crying. But I felt weird doing it. Like, I, I didn't know this person. Why am I feeling this way? It hit me way harder than I thought it would. My only interaction with Technoblade was in a Tommy in it recording. He was hunting me down, trying to kill me, and I was screaming. That was it. Due to like prox chat, I couldn't even like hear him. I got a couple glancing voice lines into my headphones. And I think that's been a big part of why I've had trouble with and I haven't made this video for a long time because it's weird, like it's it's a, it's a parasocial relationship, as they say. And it's something I've thought about a lot because I'm I'm kind of on the other side too now. I, I make YouTube videos, some people watch my videos, and I think a lot of people might make the argument that like it's stereotypical for a YouTuber to be different in their videos than they are in person. And like, yeah, you are. So what if you are more energetic? Aren't Don't you speak differently to your grandma than you do your closest friends? It's just another part of life. And so while I never had a back and forth with Technoblade, I didn't, I, I wasn't like his friend. I knew what he was like in his videos and I really admired that. Like even just his, his writing skills and I studied how he spoke in all of his videos and what he says and how he's setting up these stories. And I tried to emulate it. So it's been a full year since he's died and it's made me think a lot about mortality and life and what I wanna do. Because it's a, it, it's a harsh reality, like people in your life are going to die. And it makes me really sad for 
Technoblade's dad, his close friends, the Tommy in it, whose video I watched earlier. Mr. Techno Dad is is Technoblade's dad, what he goes by online. I was watching an hour long interview with him and Skeppy this morning that was great. There was a point where he made a joke about face revealing, even though his face had been shown the whole time and in several other videos, I just started laughing out loud for a minute straight. You could see where the humor comes from and it makes me think about like my own dad and like giving my own dad a hug. I just, the day I heard Technoblade died, I remember having this overwhelming feeling about what I want to be on YouTube, what the impact that I want to leave. And it, it just sounded so cheesy. It's like, I just want to be a good person because Technoblade to me was the epitome of a good person. I mean, I don't want to get rose tinted glasses. Like he, he wasn't like a perfect human being and there were things that I probably didn't know about him, but I think he's a good idol to have. And it's been really nice this past year because I feel like I've really become my own person on YouTube. Like I don't look, I don't analyze that potato war video anymore to see what a good intro is, but only because I learned principles from analyzing that that have put me in my own spot on YouTube. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'll end on this. I feel like I've never really internalized the, the term legend in my mind. You know, it's used a lot in like Greek mythology, maybe in books you're reading or at school. But to me, Technoblade, Technoblade is a legend. I would say thanks for the videos that he made and the, the kind of person he was online. I think it shaped me quite a bit. I would say I'm sorry to all the people who knew him closely, his dad especially. But above all else, I would say this, Technoblade never dies.